Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are playing some more Clash Royale. Uh, with the new update coming out, there's it's kind of hard to understand what's going on. There's so many new cards, so many old cards that still work, all these different strategies that people are using. Um, and so it's kind of hard getting used to what's going on. But the biggest thing that I'm sure a lot of you guys are noticing, if you have it, especially people up high, is the Royal Giant. He's very, very strong right now, and I can almost guarantee you that he's going to get um, a nerf because he's way too strong right now. Um, been talking to a lot of other players and YouTubers that you guys know about it, and we're like, he's a great card, and I'm happy that he's finally like doing something good because he wasn't used for a really long time. So it's good to see him being used now, but he's just a little bit strong. Um, so today I'm using a strategy uh, that I just randomly came up with thinking like what could help out my royal giant, okay? Um, because a lot of times like the Inferno is a great counter to him, Barbarians is an okay counter. So what I've been doing is I've been dropping off a giant skeleton in the back. He pushes his way up to the line and when he gets to the line I drop the royal giant off behind him. People try and defend, Ro the uh, giant skeleton blows up, royal giant has free reign over the tower and any defenses in the area. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple replays and then we're going to jump into a live attack and see if I can do um, pretty good. Also, hit level 13, didn't even mean to, but hey, we're there. <laughs> Let's jump into this first replay, okay? So, here's the first one playing uh, Hes Hesser. Uh, I've played him a whole bunch throughout the the life of, um, of Clash Royale, so... Um, the deck has uh, Archers, Goblins, Spear Goblins, Zap, Elixir Pump, Royal Giant, um, Giant Skeleton, and uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I don't, and one Elixir Skeleton. So he's going to start off uh, pretty good right here uh, with this hog getting in there, uh, ticking my tower down to 2100, okay? So this was, I think this was the first match that I played with this, with this deck. First time experimenting it. Um, that's one thing that I'm doing now a lot lately, like you won't see me, I'm not really pushing right now, I'm trying to just play around and see what works. Um, and uh, there's a lot of other people up at the top just doing really, really well. Um, I don't know, I, I doubt I'll ever hit number one again, um, except for after like the update or whatever. Um, but we're going to go ahead, drop off our archers over here, we're going to zap as well, try and uh, do some work to this mini P.E.K.K.A. And this witch. Um, so our giant skeleton is coming in hot. We need to, however, get rid of uh, that witch very, very badly. So right here, you're going to see we get rid of her with the spear gobs. Here we go. The elixir pumps pop. And now we've got a huge push over here on the side that is going to do some serious work. He's going to drop off fire spirits. They're not going to do that much. Giant skeleton is going to make it to the tower. So that's done. That tower is absolutely done now. Um, we're going to drop off some... Uh, goblins on this P.E.K.K.A. and then what are we gonna do? We're, watch this. This is it right here. This is the move. We're gonna do this. That tower you can see is focused on the giant skeleton. We're gonna zap as the uh, bomb, <laughs> as the giant, the target, the tower was targeted on the royal giant. We zapped. Now it's targeted on the giant skeleton and the royal giant is gonna take it out. Easy three crown win right there. Ridiculous. You gotta get a big push going. You gotta get a big push going in one lane. Um, and you gotta take damage, guys. That's one tip that I can give y'all um, that I think is a very good one. Is sometimes you just gotta take damage in order to build up and get more damage done to their tower. So let's go ahead and jump into one more replay and then we'll do a live attack for you guys, okay? Alright, so this guy right here in HKE Sports is using a spawner deck with the Royal Giant. Okay, so sounds pretty dirty and disgusting and you guys are probably cringing right now thinking about it. Um, but we're going to start off with our um, elixir pump down here. And he's going to start off with a barb hut. Okay, so this was the first spawner deck that I'd faced with this strategy. Wasn't too sure what was going to happen. So I'm just going to try and uh, mess around with these guys, see what we can make work. He's going to drop off his P.E.K.K.A. Uh, by itself, which isn't really the smartest of things to do. He should have dropped it off with some barbarians so that it could have distracted. Um, that wasn't a good use of the P.E.K.K.A. or of the mini P.E.K.K.A. at all. Um, so now here comes his other spawner. He's got the furnace in the back there, which a lot of people are playing around with. Our archers are going to take them out, so archers are really good against them. Um, our archers are also going to take out these barbarians almost all the way. And now we're starting our push. Okay, so we're going to start back here with our giant skelly. He's going to poison our giant skeleton. I say thanks because I don't think that's a great use of the poison spell at all. Um, yes, it does slow it down and whatnot, but that's not going to do that much. So 
here we go we're gonna go ahead and drop off our archers we're gonna take out this right here because of this giant skeleton we can build up a huge push guys we are going to have all these troops down our archers are down now we're going to drop off our uh, royal giant in the back right here and uh, sadly as it is these uh, little fire spirits are gonna come in and do some work but watch this that bomb is gonna take out that mini P.E.K.K.A and we're gonna be able to get up in there and do a little bit of work we're gonna zap and distract the tower to make it focus on the archers as the royal giant gets in there and takes the tower down to 52 hit points guys zap is really good with the giant or with the royal giant because you can very easily just distract and make things focus something else while he does a bunch of damage so we're gonna go ahead and drop off another elixir pump which is honestly what makes this whole deck just run I'm gonna drop off my giant skeleton over here he's gonna be out of range of everything and completely wreck that tower or that uh, that spawner which is why he's great against spawner decks guys because he's just gonna sit over there and do work now look at this huge push we have going on the left side we've got archers uh, he's got his mini P.E.K.K.A. in there doing some work, but that's fine because we've got a big push going. And watch this. Giant Skeleton over on the right side. Ignore the Fire Spirits. They're not going to do that much. We have, our <laughs> we have our Giant Skeleton on the tower. Now look at this. We have got two Giant Skeletons not blown up. One Royal Giant. We're about to get another Royal Giant down, guys. This is what you would have seen in the thumbnail. Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous just overtaking his side of the map now let's go ahead jump into a match see how we can do um my win loss isn't too bad so it's win loss win loss win win loss win 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 and then a loss with another deck so it's not doing too bad it's a lot of fun we're at 43 60 let's go ahead jump into a match here guys and see what we can in fact make happen it's very important to get the elixir pump down so that you can get that flowing and to get the giant skelly in the back and then move forward from there so i feel like i might have already played this guy um h2o now has a little elixir uh emblem over there um i want to try my best and cycle through to my elixir pump but it doesn't look like that's going to happen so we're going to start a push with our giant skeleton over here guys um, and just see what we can do. He's gonna go this route, obviously, and let's go ahead and zap all of this. We're gonna miss the hog rider because we suck, and uh, let's see if we can get rid of this mini P.E.K.K.A. and the giant skelly can. Come on, get to the tower, get to the tower, get to the tower. Yes, giant skeleton's gonna get to the tower, baby. That's what I wanted. Archers are over there doing some work to that tower still. Is it gonna take it down? Oof, yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Um, now we're gonna he doesn't know we have the royal giant yet, so we're gonna kind of play it slow I also have a prince in here. I don't really know why um, just kind of for fun And he's a pretty good counter to the hog rider as well um, So let's go ahead and start off this big push guys what you would have seen in that last episode And we are going to drop off our royal giant right in the middle I'm honestly going to ignore this hog rider right here guys um, as we drop off this uh, royal giant we're gonna ignore the hog and we're gonna take two towers here guys very easily let's go ahead and zap this boom and uh see if we oh that's all right that's all right we got it down very very far down to eight eight nine that is what i'm talking about let's go ahead and take out this princess as well um and then move on forward we'll go ahead and drop these guys off as a little bit of a distraction um oh i wanted the archers to yes the archers are targeted on the tower we have nothing to counter um, these minions if he drops off a hog with that we may be in trouble let's go ahead and see if we can pull them all the way over here and we can indeed but he is going to get to that tower with that hog rider and we're gonna go ahead and zap that that other tower is down to 151 guys so we should be good to go here um, with, okay he's gonna go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and distract over here and uh, honestly those are no the archers aren't gonna do good enough right there but you know what we're gonna do let's go ahead drop off our royal giant here and get up in there he's gonna go ahead one shot that and we are going to take that out our spear gobs we're doing a little bit of work right there for a second go ahead and drop this off not too sure what he's trying to do here um, because it's pretty certain that he's done um, obviously yeah so we take out that hog rider fairly quickly as well let's go ahead and drop off our giant skeleton as a distraction and mini P.E.K.K.A. we're going to distract as well. Go ahead and zap these guys right here. And um, he's actually got a fairly good push. If he, he's going to push that side. This is actually looking a little bit dangerous for us, guys. If he can indeed take that tower out, we are going to be in trouble. We've got to try and take out 
uh, this side of the map. He's doing very, look at that, we were able to take out the princess right there with five seconds left. Um, we're going to distract up here, and that is going to be GG. Wow, he came back and played very, very well there, but we had that tower down to 1208, so I definitely think we could have taken it before he took ours. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. If you have the Royal Giant, put him in your deck. Play with him. He's really, really good. I love you guys. I thank you so much for your support. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on Bummer, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.